Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my name is Sister Anastasia, and on the day of the feast of St. John of Shanghai and San Francisco, we are sending you from St. Elizabeth's Convent our best wishes. On this day, I wanted to share with you a miracle from my life, which St. John of Shanghai made for another person. That's why this miracle is especially dear to my heart, because the St. John, he considered me worthy to use me to make a wonderful deed to another person. This miracle happened about two years ago in May, on Monday morning in Detroit, uh, state Michigan. Uh, and another sister and I were supposed to have a meeting in a Catholic cathedral downtown in Detroit. I didn't really um, I wasn't really looking forward to this meeting because, as you know, Detroit is not the safest place, especially downtown. So I was going there with kind of a heavy heart, but St. John and the Lord, they made this day a really memorable in my life. Uh, when we came to the cathedral for a morning mass, uh, we saw there about 20 people, most of them were black people, but after the Mass, uh, which lasted 30 minutes, people started to come up to us and having conversations, communicating, talking to us. We saw that these are really nice, loving people, very hospitable and very interested in our ministries that we are rendering in our convent. So communicating with these people, I was really surprised because majority of them had no idea uh, what Orthodox Church is. So all the time from the beginning, responding to every person's uh, questions, we had to repeat once and once again what Orthodox means. So, you know, people are coming from the church one by one and asking all the same questions. Where are you from? What order are you? And what Orthodox means? So we kept telling uh, to people and the usher, he was waiting with us because this is downtown. So they were going to close the doors as soon as the last person goes out of the church because it's really dangerous to leave it open. So uh, we were trying to pack our wires really quickly so the usher doesn't have to wait for us for much longer. And then Another person comes out of the church and this is a black man and I think he has some physical disease because he was walking hardly and his head was turned to the left as far as I remember and you know moving really slowly and from far away he started to talk to me. Where are you from? So I respond, we are from Minsk, from country called Belarus. And what order are you? We are Russian Orthodox, belonging to Russian Patriarchate, I responded to him. And was opening my mouth again, being ready to explain what Orthodox means. But to my surprise, this person, whose name is Denis, he said to me, Oh, Russian Orthodox, and I really venerate the Russian Orthodox saint, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco, Saint John. I was surprised. In the church where nobody knew what Orthodox is, this person is actually knows my favorite saint, Saint John. I was so surprised. I was very happy. So when he came up to me, I asked him, so where do you know from Saint John? But he didn't listen to my question and he was continuing to tell his story. He said that, you know, whatever I ask Saint John, he gives it to me. And about a week ago, I called the uh, Orthodox Monastery in California, St. John of Shanghai Monastery. And while he was talking, I opened my purse and I took a bottle of oil and an icon of St. John because I'm um, doing this little uh, service for him. I'm taking his oil and icons from San Francisco and distribute it to other people all around the world those who love him and venerate him and have no chance to get the oil and icons of his or those who don't know him but whenever i tell about him i feel that these people are really interested and will use the oil to uh, anoint themselves and their loved ones so while talking i took the oil and icon and gave it to him 
You should have seen Dennis. His eyes grew big and he was so happy. He was very slow, but all of a sudden he became emotional. And he said, oh my God, he started to kiss oil and icon. And he started to tell me that that's what I was telling you. A week ago, I called his monastery. Nobody responded. I kept calling the next day, but again, nobody answered the phone. And he didn't know that he should call not the OCA, Orthodox Monastery of St. John, but actually Rockwell Cathedral, the joy of all who sorrow, new cathedral in San Francisco, they are distributing the oil. So he was calling there to ask them to send him an oil because he really needed it. But nobody responded. So he was very much upset. And he told me, five days ago, before you came here, I prayed to St. John, asking him to send me his oil. And you, sisters, come from Belarus to bring me oil of St. John from San Francisco. He couldn't believe. I was laughing together with him. I wanted to hug him. He was coming to everyone who was near us and they were very much surprised because they had no idea who St. John is. And he comes with his oil and icon and saying to everyone, can you imagine St. John did it to me. He sent me sisters from Belarus to give me his oil. So I was the most happy person after this encounter with this person. I doubt if he has a house. I think he is homeless the way he looked and uh, you know the only possession he had was a cap. He put the icon and oil in his cap and when we said farewell I gave him our email address asking him to write to us and tell his story how he came to know the saint. But Sadly, we didn't hear from him. Maybe he doesn't even have a computer, but I still hope that one day we will hear from Dennis. And, you know, St. John helps us no matter where we are. We are in San Francisco, in Detroit, or in Minsk. Even here in our convent, we have a beautiful church of St. John of Shanghai and San Francisco, who came to the psychiatric hospital, which is just around the corner, and he comes to help all the people. So St. John, pray for us.